I'm in Marquette Park on the south side of Chicago and behind me is the MLK Living Memorial. It's a memorial to an event that happened in 1966 in which Martin Luther King as well as others protested in this park against racism and he was infamously struck, Martin Luther King that is, with a brick uh, as he was marching in this park. There is a gigantic and tragic wall in this city. Behind it is triple ghetto, race, poverty, and human misery. We've got to have action to remove these walls. Dr. Martin Luther King. Hence the wall structure. So you can kind of walk through and this is like a break in the walls. Yeah. Art has a meaning you can interpret. And then the Oh, here it is. Dr. King struck with a rock. This art piece was actually designed by my, um, my um, art teacher in college. Sonia Henderson. But it's interactive, you can walk through it. It has the uh, bust of the reverends and the people that marched with Dr. King that day. It's very interactive, very poignant. This was August 5th, 1966. Marchers marched in this very park. This area of Chicago, known as Marquette Park or Chicago Lawn, used to be known as an area of notorious racism. And uh, this was the very spot that Martin Luther King decided that he was going to march at because of its noted history of Nazis and uh, a lot of Eastern European second generation immigrants during that time. Now it's a mostly mixed neighborhood, still have that uh eastern european descent around here but mostly hispanic and some african americans but but it was in this very park where mlk infamously proclaimed that he's been all over the world and experienced racism all over through the deep south and and alabama mississippi but no place has he felt the fervor of racism than in chicago